How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a service call. We've got a system that is running and keeping up just fine, but the indoor blower motor is just running continuously and it's not shutting off. So I'm going to go out there and see what I can find. Before we get started, I want to talk about today's sponsor, which is Diversitech. They just started a new contractor's rewards program. Now, what that means is whenever you're going to your local supply house and you're buying the parts that you already need, you can now go to the website, which I'll link down in the description, and you can sign up for an account and you can upload your receipts and you start getting points towards merchandise, events, uh, vacations, all kinds of stuff. So I highly recommend you go ahead and sign up now because you might as well get some free stuff since you're already buying the parts that you need anyway. I'm gonna be doing that myself. So anyhow, I'll leave a link down in the description for you. Go check it out. Let's do some work. Yeah, so right now it's satisfied. I'm gonna go ahead and bump it up to make sure, or to bump it down rather, make sure it shuts off. Fan is on auto, so let me check it out. Looking pretty, pretty heated up. Okay, so after checking the schematic here, looking at all the wiring diagrams for the blower motor on the low voltage side, I checked the board inside here and I'm not getting any voltage coming out of the board. I actually disconnected each wire as well that goes over to the motor. So what I decided to do, I disconnected the low voltage, the low voltage, um, plug on the on the motor and it's still running so obviously that is a sign that the module on that motor is bad because we're not even getting a 24 volt signal to the motor and it's running so looks like I need to find a uh, new motor
All right, so basically on this call, we have a dual fuel system, which means it uh, it's a heat pump, but instead of having backup electric heat, it has gas for the secondary. So um, in a nutshell, the indoor fan would never shut off, continue running nonstop. Um, I checked the inputs going to the motor as far as coming out of the board. There is a 24 volt signal that sends uh, to the motor depending on what speed that it needs to run at. If it's running in the gas heat mode or the heat pump mode, or if it's just fan only, it runs in a low speed mode. Um, so on these motors, you have two plugs. You, on the lower side, on this particular one, is the high voltage. So it's gonna be 240 volts supplied to that motor at all times. And then on the top plug, you have all the different inputs, the 24 volt inputs, uh, telling the motor what speed to run in. And so that, that is a module that bolts to the motor itself. So um, obviously, like I said, I checked all the inputs coming out of the board going to the motor. No 24 volts on any of them. Low, gas heat, um, normal heat mode, nothing. I even disconnected the wires to see if it changed anything, and it didn't. So then I just decided to go straight to the motor and remove the, the, the plug for all of the 24 volt inputs to see what would happen and it still ran it didn't shut off so that tells me right away the module on that motor is bad and we just got to get it replaced so unfortunately they don't have any in stock it's going to take probably close to a week to get that motor in um, but it's not a big deal because the customer still has heat the fan just runs continuously so Hopefully that, that stays true and it doesn't change uh, over the next week to where she can still have heat. But um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the, the, the diagnosis that I have going through um, a situation like that where the fan runs continuously. You wanna make sure that you're not getting voltage. Uh, first off, you're not getting voltage from the thermostat, right? Which I didn't. And then I said, okay, well, am I getting voltage out of the board that controls the motor? And I wasn't. So I just went ahead and disconnected the plug from the motor itself to make sure, hey, it's not getting uh, cross-fed or jumped out from anywhere. And we know for sure that there's no inputs going into that motor and it was still running. So there you go. Nothing else I can do for today. Um, what I'll do is I'll just make another video when I come back and replace that motor because I have a special tool that I wanna use and I wanna show you guys on um, how you can basically set up those motors before connecting before connecting it to the unit, um, and you can actually it's a, it's a it's a you know um, a tool, and you basically can go in and say you know run all the different test modes and different modes and different inputs things like that. Uh, anyway, it'll be a cool video to show that tool um, and using it in, in the real world, and then obviously installing it and checking it and making sure everything is running the way it's supposed to. But uh, man, this customer they lucked out because their warranty ends in like two weeks. So they, they slipped this one right in at the very end. And uh, that makes me happy because I hate to tell customers the opposite thing where, Hey, your warranty just expired two weeks ago. And now we got to, you know, fork out all this money to replace, uh, to get it repaired. So anyway, pretty excited about that. Um, I always like when, my customers are taken care of in that way, you know. Yeah, I'm not making money off the part, but I'm still making my labor, so I'm I'm being taken care of, and then the customer gets taken care of as well. So it's like a win-win situation. Um, but yeah, in a nutshell, that's today's service call. That's going to be the end of today's video. Uh, I hope you got something out of it, out of that troubleshooting process. I will definitely make that video coming back to uh, swap out that motor and get everything tested out. Don't forget to hit that link down in the description to check out the um, Contractors Rewards program through Diversitech. And uh, I think it's a cool thing. Why not get some free stuff? You're already buying the parts. So hit the link down below. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you for being here, watching these videos, taking the time out of your life. It really does mean a lot to me. So give it a thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, see you later. Woo!